Hello, bitches. <laughs> right, language. Hey, I can say bitches. I have COVID. That's how it works. That's not what that means. <laughs> I do what I want. Do what I want to include acting more adult and mature? No. Yeah. <laughs> so, we should probably go over uh, all the classes. Alright. ZK, end of reality. XK, end of the world. World changing, basically... Changes the world doesn't necessarily destroy it. I believe that's correctly what it is. Yeah. Continent will affect uh, uh, at a continental scale, country con country scale, city city scale. Certain group only affects certain people. Only one affects one person at a given time. I forgot what what spoo tier is supposed to be. Basically, the really silly nonsensical. One. Yeah, and what the fuck is like? They're what? Not silly, but they don't belong anywhere else. Yeah, and reassign is like, get them the fuck out of Keter. <laughs> I think the funniest one we had to put in that classification was the emoji SCP. When that oh shit heard God. that, he was, like, why the fuck is this a? As well as the um. The German party robot. <laughs> uh, uh. Anyways, I decided to show the articles this time when doing the stream. Is that Legend of Zelda? <laughs> I, I don't know what it was. That was from food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways. The first SCP of the night is SCP-2288. And, oh fuck, I forgot to get the nickname. No! I'm an idiot. That's okay, we all know that. Hey! <laughs> You're the idiot we love. Oh, alright, the nickname. Copy of A. That's his nickname. Copy of A? Yes. Anyways, SCP-2288, uh, object class, Keter. Well, I mean, all of them are going to be Keter, but yeah. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> special containment procedures. SCP-2288 is contained in, a special, in special quarters and site redacted. No, see, added containment procedures. With padded walls and a ceiling containing two separate vents to allow for introduction of an inhalation anesthetic. Subject is provided with bedding and reading material in the form of soft cover books and a television bolted to the wall behind secure cover. Specialty remote control is to be provided, made of softened materials and capable of being utilized as a deadly weapon. Subject is to be monitored at all times. In the event instances of 2288-A begin to manifest several fluorine and Desafluorine anesthetics are to be vented into the containment chamber until 2288 and or living instances of dash A are incapacitated. At such time, living instances of dash A are to be terminated while 2288 is to be kept anesthetized until the containment chamber is repaired. 2288 is not to be kept anesthetized longer than necessary due to risk of containment breach. 2288 is to be fed three times a day in a form of easily portable meals, not requiring the use of utensils. Amount of food and drink provided is to be sustained at appropriate levels for one. 2288 is to be observed finishing its meals and is not allowed to hoard food or drink apart from a single 500 milliliter container of water per day. Terminated instances of Dash A are to be scanned in for contraband in place and mortuary storage on site. If an instance of Dash A poses a biological, radiological, or anomalous threat to 2288 or any other individuals, it is being incinerated following a standard autopsy and or 
Toxicology Report. Addendum. As of August 21st, 2014, 2288 has been relocated to Site 299. Site redacted is subject to an ongoing process of mass body disposal to print an NK class scenario. Relevant details are restricted to personnel assigned on site. Alright, so hold on. I do have a list of the class scenarios. So let me look that up real quick. Okay, NK, NK, NK. All right, primary definition, a self-replicating SCP or object reduces out of control, causing contamination to the planet, filling or replacing the world with itself or other situations. Named for hypothetical scenario where self-replicating nanomachines malfunction and turn the whole world into goop. So that's what this is. Okay. Oh my. If it didn't include nanomachines, that could... Classification could be given to 871. <laughs> you know, the cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So we now know what that is. SCP-2288 is a 19-year-old Caucasian female, formerly a student at the University of Redacted, who under certain life-threatening conditions produces deceased duplicates of itself. Copies of 2288 appear to initially occupy the same time and space as the subject, coming away from the subject is moved. Additionally, instances of 2288-A have contained copies of inanimate objects on their persons with the subject 2288 may have come in contact with, with a presumed time of between 12 and 18 minutes after last touching the object. Duplicated objects have not been found to be anomalous and are identical to their original counterparts in every way. So subject has displayed no voluntary control over, over the apparition of these duplicates, which appear to be related to physical altercations, in which the subject's life is in peril. Despite full cooperation and compliance from the subject, no method currently exists to ensure complete cessation of its anomalous effect. This anomaly was first discovered when 2288 suffered a serious injury on campus when an instance of Dash A emerged as students moved in to aid and reorient the subject. Local authorities were called and the incident drew the attention of Foundation agents and the police force. After receiving medical treatment, the subject was taken into Foundation custody and, and amnestic were administered to students and faculty. The subject was in a highly agitated state, claiming no knowledge of its anomalous behavior. Following containment, 2288 began to resist Foundation personnel necessitating, necessitating use of force and restraining the subject, subject resisting serious injury in the scuffle, necessitating medical attention. While re receiving treatment, an instance of Dash A emerged from the subject, an autopsy determined Dash A sustained an identical wound to that received by the subject, which proved fatal in Dash A's case. Further, instances of Dash A began to bear signs of injury consistent with trauma 2288 has experienced, which had proven fatal for the duplicates. Autopsies performed upon the deceased instances of Dash A have failed to determine a likely source of these instances or any anomalous features is consistent with 2288 itself. Instances of, 20, of Dash A have been found to be genetically and physically identical to 2288. Scars and lingering injuries have accumulated on instances of Dash A consistent with the original subject at the time of duplication. Experiment Logs Despite the misgivings of several researchers, names not, will not be included in the official report. Authorization will be, was given to conduct serious experiments upon 2288 to determine the following. Whether a subject has direct control over its anomalous effect, whether a subject has indirect control over its anomalous effects, such as self-harm, for the purpose of manifesting instances dash A, whether a subject is capable of manifesting individual objects alone. And cross out the circumstances under which living instances of dash A manifest inconclusive. Well, damn. <laughs> Experiment 1. 2288 is physically restrained within... Its chambers and left for alternating periods of six hours. Subject is fed and allowed to watch television. Schedule continues for four days before subject becomes a cooperative. 
Sergeant forcefully stated an experiment continues another nine days without major incident. Subject then released and treated. Oh. Good evening. How are you? How are you doing, the grass? Alright. Prognosis. Instances of Dash A manifested after the end of an experiment. Rigor and discoloration place time of death between 16 and 18 hours prior to experiment's end. Subject complains of pain and numbness, but was at no point during the experiment near death. Experiment 2. 2288 quit with a redacted brand ballistic vest and fired upon with a redacted 9mm pistol. Subject falls to the ground, shouting in pain. No instance of dash A manifest. Blood determined to be from the subject appears at site of impact, but no perforation of subject's skin is found. Subject suffers bruising of the chest and coccyx. An additional instance manifest during medical treatment. Subject expected to fully recover. Experiment 3. 2288. Place in medically induced coma and monitored carefully. Data expunged. Cleanup efforts take several weeks. Damage to medical bay estimated at redacted. I'm concerned what they did. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad you're well. Anyways, prognosis subject recovered from the mass without further loss of a personnel. Experiment 4. 2288. Given steady doses of arsenic and monitored. Subject displays signs of acute arsenic poisoning and is quickly given treatment. The subject turns aside to vomit into a container of instance of dash A manifest, apparently asphyxiated. Redacted more instances manifest before subject is stabilized via salation therapy. Of <laughs> an expungement, yeah. <laughs> Prognosis subject stabilized with some difficulty as instances of 2288-A begin exerting pressure. On a subject while restrained, threatening to violently overturn the operating table. Subject held upright by personnel, allowing instances to fall away without disturbing the subject. Experiments end after this point. Addendum 1. On redacted 2014, an instance of Dash A manifested, unlike prior incidents, dressed in civilian clothing and carrying a backpack. Instance, living instance was unaware of his surroundings and became belligerent, necessitating physical restraint. Medical examination of living instance, instance reclassified as dash B, shows no past signs of physical trauma consistent with all prior instances recovered thus far. Found the subject's backpack were textbooks and writing instruments, along with a personal redacted, and a student's, student identification from the University of Redacted, existing in the subject's name and current year. As dash B displays the same abilities as the original subject, Death speed is to be restrained and housed with 2288 to ensure psychological health. All conversations between the subjects are to be monitored and future requests for entertainment devices are to be considered more favorably pending further compliance and good behavior. Wait, so they're locking them in with essentially a clone of the, their own the, themselves? I mean, yeah, how else? Uh, you got, they got to do it two more times in order to play Mario Party. Anyways. <laughs> I'm just saying, that sounds slightly like a nightmare scenario. Yeah. It, it, it is said that one of the, the worst things to be besides alone is alone with a new version of yourself. Yeah. A list of items recovered from Dash B's backpack include two history textbooks published by Redacted 6th edition, a five-subject notebook. Each divi divider contains a syllabus with, for a different class. Classes include... History of the World up to 1650, Introduction to Thermodynamics, Reinventing the Wheel, Out of Print, The Red Dragon, The Queen, uh, no, The Xing Empire from 1644 to today, Blood, Broads, and Bastards, Medieval Lives in West Europe. <laughs> Why did they have to include bastards? <laughs> Technically, back then, and even in recent years, bastard was very important. As in, if you were born out of wedlock, your life was basically fucked forever. Damn. A handwritten letter, presumably written by Dash B, addressed to an Anna. Then in two, on August 21st, 2014, Dash B requested and was granted a meeting with 2288, 
During the mate, Dash Beak began to manifest the seized copies of itself. 2288 took advantage of the situation and assaulted and killed Dash B. Despite its death, instances of Dash B continued to manifest from its body. The floor was temporarily evacuated as bodies continued to mount. As of redacted 2014, Dash B has not been recovered and all personnel and 2288 have been relocated to nearby site 299. Recovery teams continued to, act to actively search site redacted for Dash B's corpse. A portion of 2288's interrogation has been attached. <laughs> Interview conducted by Dr. Esther Hazy. Extraneous content has been redacted for brevity. Dr. Esther Hazy. I don't have, have to explain to you. 2288. I broke your prison building, sorry. At least I... Now you know it doesn't stop if I die. What prompted it? What were you thinking? Isn't it obvious? Killing is killing. What matter if you're killing someone who looks like you? I see myself dead my enough times. You think I give a shit about another one? You don't have to kill all the others. Yeah, I did. They're dead, and I'm not. And they die when you try to kill me. We don't want to try to kill you. I killed her because I'm smart. I've come to see your way of viewing the world. What's that? You contain me because I'm an abomination. A freak of nature. You've also had a rough time handling me. You've tortured me, subjected me to experiments, and had me in prison with no sign of my ever going home. We expect to play along with you forever. Her, meanwhile, she was new. She never been sub subjected to what I've been subjected to. Probably for a completely different world. She prospered here, safely contained and cared for. You think that we would kill you and replace you with her? Who the fuck am I? An anomaly? If there were two of me, you wouldn't have to deal with me. But now you do. Forever. And if another living one comes through, I'm gonna break her neck as soon as she pops out. We don't kill people. What do you do with all those people? Those prisoner people you have working and helping with tests? Your peons for your worldwide secret gulag? Why do I never see the same person every month? They're transferred to different facilities on a monthly basis. But they know their tests and reporters to certain projects. You think we killed them too? You call me subject. It's day. SCP-2288. Never redacted. I think the moment a fresh face new 2288 drops from my quantum asshole, you're gonna bury me in a box and leave me in my cells to feed the worms. Fuck you, I'm not talking anymore. And that's SCP-2288. <laughs> Who has apparently been tortured so horribly so often that they're like, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna rank them super high, even though they do have an NK class. Well, like, it, it's... The only person they're a danger to is themselves. Yeah, it, I would say probably only one, like, themselves, because yeah. they, they're not actively going after anyone, like all the other okay. Keaters. From what I've heard, from what they were saying in that interview, it feels like they partially spoke the truth and partially lied. I think they killed the other self, mainly because they never had to go through what they did. After all, what's a better life? Let's, remembering a relatively peaceful life, no scars, no trauma, or and then dying, or torture. Yeah. Hey. Also, they wouldn't know if the SCP Foundation would put them through anything. If they, if the other instance kept living. Oh. My. God. Oh my gosh, there's no dash J next to it in, in the final name, which means this is not a joke SCP. Oh no. What SCP? What, what number? Um, it is 2293. But here's the picture with it, Jerry. <laughs> Why don't I see a picture on the file? Uh, it's probably because it's it's probably a fan made. Oh. 
Uh... Alright, let me get to the SCP itself. Cool bug facts. That looks like something made in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, and it's Nick. Oh, its nickname is an inside joke. <laughs> okay. So I'm guessing it's joke related. <laughs> but not a joke, SCP. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is probably gonna be fun. Okay, so hold on. Oh, there's multiple logs. Let me just open them. Alright, All right, I want to read this next one. Do you want to read the one after this? You don't have to if you don't want to. I would love to read it. Yeah, alright, so next one after this, uh, I'll let you read. Alright, so everyone ready for me? 2293? Mm -hmm. I guess so. Anyways. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. Item, SCP-2293, Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Containment is focused on seizing and destroying instances of 2293 and all evidence thereof. Manifestation of 2293 affected media to a large viewing audience are to be given standard cover stories and at the head research discretion, NSX are to be distributed. Foundation AI, ATLS-12 and GRGN-03 are to monitor all possible communications at 12-hour intervals for appearances or descriptions of 2293 instances. If geographical area is found to be undergoing a 2293 event, MTF-E-72, Bachman's Boys, is, be, is to quarantine the area under the operation of locations government under in any applicable cover story. MTF-E-72 is to enact protocol GLEAM in order to discern the number of 2293 affected media in the area. The destructions of affected areas is authorized in, if the number of affected works meets the density of 1300 occurrences per square kilometer or greater. All civilians displaced by this destruction are to be com compensated through a joint account operated by the Foundation and the involvement involved government. Efforts towards studying 2293 should be focused upon making predictive forecasts of 2293 locations. Description SCP-2293 is a phenomenon in which media within a given area of the 22 kilometers square that contains any form of dialogue or speech that may be subject to alter alterations. The subject's baseline Hume rating Decreases in direct proportion to the quality of media affected by 2293. 2293 appears irregularly and no method for prediction of future manifestations have been devised. 2293 causes all affected media to include a portion of which the 1999 car accident of American writer Stephen King is referenced. In each affected work... Uh, the line appears as follows. Did you know that the world-renowned writer Stephen King was once hit by a car? Just something to consider. <laughs> the fuck? The line occurs once at a random point within the media, although a preference is shown for moments that ruin an established mood. Media by Stephen King, those written under his pseudonym Richard Bachman, I didn't know he had a pseudonym. Anyways. Or directly based on his output are unaffected by 2293 across all manifestations. The introduction to this line, along with descriptions of characters turning to face an unseen audience when applicable, causes the work to increase in size. This includes seconds being added to tracks of albums affected by 2293, but may also cause pages to be added to afflicted books. If necessary, and mediums for or a work has taken up the entirety of a finite space, such as data on CD, the medium is simply made to hold more data than possible with no changes made to its nature. 2293 is also 
able to change media as it is broadcast, whether live or not. This includes live broadcasts, broadcasts but also reruns of previously taped media. The changes 2293 makes to the media are present to all viewers in the affected area. It is unclear how these changes are made to live television. On average, 2293 events last four days, although some have lasted up to three weeks. No area has been subjected to 2293 phenomenon more than once. Upon the ending of 2293 phenomenon, all affected media remain unchanged. Or remain changed. And then on 2293-1, on November 16, 2016, a raid to the headquarters of GOI 5869, Gamers Against Weed. Oh, God damn it. Supreme is suspected of an involvement of several events of interest, such as 2042. This raid was conducted in connection with the reports of local leftist groups using anomalous items during protests. <laughs> they, they didn't have to include the second part, but they did, <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I covered information indicating that Gamers Against Weed was responsible for certain for the, the creation of 2293. The headquarters was found to be abandoned in haste less than six hours prior to Foundation's arrival. Included in the document are a collection of incriminating chat logs found on a laptop left at the scene. Only conversations pertaining to 2293 have been included. <laughs> Sounds like they purposely left for that. Yeah, I love how like gamers against weed is just like, you know what would be funny if we just make this anomaly. <laughs> That's just their whole organization. That's what they do. <laughs> you know what? I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> They're stupid, but I respect the stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gay cop MP4. So did you guys hear they're making a new, a new it movie? Bones, what? Hit cop, oh gee gee, it. What? You know that fucking book about the clown? Yeah, dude, it was on. It was that movie with Tim Curry as the gay clown that did the evil to the children. <laughs> it's one of the. Them most terrifying movies I've ever fucking seen. Not familiar. Favorite part is when Pennywise the Clown turns to the camera and says, Did you know that the world renowned writer Stephen King was once a big car? Just something to consider. And then he fucking honks his nose horn. I don't think I understood this joke. That doesn't happen in the movie at all. Lol. Okay, so this goes to show that they didn't make it. Because it anomaly affected them. So I guess it, it invented itself? Uh, I think this shows that they are not the source. It's just they might have had the first people who were infected by it. Yeah. It's just something to think about. Dude, you should make jokes about that. He almost died. Didn't an artist do care to get hit in a car crash at the beginning of Kingdom Hospital? I am like 1,000% sure that's also all Lizzie's story is about, too. It's the fact that people write about their trauma that fucked up to you. Left my ass off. Steve King is also the last Dark Tower book and gets hit by a car in it. What the okay, fuck? Then, okay, you... Oh my god, Chew! I'm not Chew, Bookworm. Oh my gosh, but I did not mean to say it. Bookworm. Oh! I did not- Thank you! Oh my god! And you start in the hype train! <laughs> uh, oh my god. You were just reading this fucked up SCP and Bookworm's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start a train. Thank you. Oh, gee, Twitch makes it hype train. Oh yeah, because Twitch also gave us sub too. But yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Bookworm.
All right, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. And didn't the main character think he had arthritis, but it was really the pain from his car crash? <laughs> what about, like, fucking Maximal Overdrive? That fucking Chris, Chris Stadium fucking from a Buick 8. Sea Snake Jerry has oh. gifted one subs to viewers. Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> I honestly did it for the emotes. Ah. <laughs> what about the two from of those were even before the car accident? Maybe the car crash was an attack. Maybe the fucking cars they saw, he knew their plans against them. Dude, what? Be careful. You don't want to want the the cars to hear you. I agree. Stephen King was hit by a car for knowing too much. <laughs> what? <laughs> Headphones, yes. Tell blunt, blunt friend to stop talking about this. <laughs> You're a baby. It's some good fun, honey. Hmm, I'll allow it. <laughs> Do you think he stopped wandering around the streets at night after this? Dude, too soon. This is bullshit. I'm out of here for tonight. Sad face. Oh, come on, babe. We're just, we're having fun. Look, I'm sorry, but I won't bring it up again. Okay, well, sorry for being mad. It's just not, not funny. Like, he almost died, you know. I do, and I'm sorry. I won't bring it up again. <laughs> I already like the... I really like the beginning of the next one. <laughs> At blunt friend. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. What the fuck? Whatever is the matter for K-Top than before? Oh boy, what's up? Don't you fucking play at me like you fucking don't know it. Like you don't know the fucking shit you pulled isn't against the fucking rules. Do this kind of magic bullshit otherworldly shit to a comrade. What the fuck is this dude? This is so even for you. I thought we were cool, but this is just fucking beyond, beyond even you. Fuck you, dude. Okay, that's the first time I've noticed that Gamers Against Me actually has rules. <laughs> Well, we don't exactly get to look in their chat logs every day, do we? No. But, come on, honey. Calm down. What happened? If... I I feel like he made that up, that rule. Made up that rule. I'm pretty sure they made up that rule. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yes. What did you do at Blunt Friend? I plead the fifth law. Fuck you, Blunt Friend. Don't act like you don't fucking know what you did. I really think you should consider taking a breath and then telling us what happened. Oh god, I don't want to hear this one. Okay, okay. So I was trying to veg out and watch a Game of Thrones, you know? Lol, you watch Game of Thrones. Shut up. It's guilty pleasure. I'm not guilty pleasures. Fuck you. Honey, just go on. Please. Fuck you. <laughs> Necessary blood field. Please go on. Be a cop in your feet for. This is kind of spoilers, as I guess, but everyone sees them. Uh, memes, so whatever it was when Shane Bean as Papa Stark was going to get his head cut off, it was really well done, serious scene. But like, just as he's about to get his head cut off, he turns his head to the fucking camera and says the fucking thing. What thing? The fucking thing, Stephen Kevin Lane, Stephen King line, what field kept saying. Did she know that the proper writer Stephen King was once hit by a car? Just something to consider that one. Yes! Oh, I'm having a heart attack and I'm dying in front of my family. Please call the cops. There's been a murder. That's it. No, that's not even the whole fucking thing. I left it off, okay? Because I'm not all whining and bitching like you guys. See, I can't... I can't joke. So I, I started playing Final Fantasy X, XII. And in the fucking middle of the cutscene, Ash turns to the screen and fucking said it. And no matter how many times I go back, she keeps saying it. I even went to a new file. She also fucks, also fucking does it. <laughs> he broke my fucking game too. She also check out your books. No taunting. This is a classic. Fuck you, dude. Even got into my mom's fucking Beatles CD. She plays in the car. You didn't have to fuck her stuff up too. It won't fucking go away. What the hell is your problem? Cool CD, Normie. <laughs> it's my mom's. <laughs> Honey, I understand why you'd be mad, but it is kind of funny. <laughs> Can't come in before it's locked up. Should be fine in a few days. It'll set 
doing it to stream media at least. I'll get her. You're going to have to apologize. You went too far. It is really funny though. Any humor, present or not, is besides the point. Apologize and we can move on. Yeah, I mean, you know how she is. I bet she just felt ganged up on. It'll be okay, I bet. If you just tell her you're sorry real quick. Let's meet Kim Carr. How'd you even do that at Bunkfield? Oh, you know, BB. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Gay cop and before has entered the room. Dude, I'm sorry. I thought you'd find it as funny as I did. It's okay. Just don't do anything like that again. We don't see Bones pulling pranks on people with its weird computer shit. Or W slash E. I don't play pranks. Or whatever. Or That's whatever. What ah, okay. I don't play pranks. Whatever, Bones. It's a fucking example. You, you know what I mean. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I set a record for you, Bright. Did? Did we? Oh. I don't even know there was a record. Anyways. I will say that some of these are, like, hilarious three names, like Polar Ice Craps, Bones, <laughs> Armpit, Lesbian Gengar is probably one of the most normal ones, Blunt Fiend, Gay Cop MP4. <laughs> yeah. So basically, like, Gay Cop music. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, hi, no, hi, train record. Oh, cool. Yeah, whatever. Bones is, is a fucking example. You know what I mean. Bones doesn't even play tr fucking play tricks. Yes, it was really funny. I like you better when you're AFK. <laughs> Honey, be nice. Come on, we're friends here. Friends can sweet. <laughs> Let's move on. What does your mom think about it at Gay Cop MP4 about our Beatles CD? I pretended, pretended her car got a computer virus, and I think she believed me. <laughs> Guys, check out what I found on, Re on Reddit. Link deleted. Laugh my ass off. You go on Reddit? Holy shit, right? What is it? I don't click links. OMG, Blomfield, what did you fucking do? Link details of Predator talk about a strange moment in last night's episode of Saturday Night Live wherein Alec Baldwin, as current president-elect Donald Trump, turned to the camera and said, Did you know the world right now writer Stephen King was once hit by a car? Just something to consider. No one in the thread believed the Redditor until someone living in the same geographical location backed up the story. Thank you, Bones. You're welcome. You're going to get in trouble. How the hell is that, is that still going? I thought it was done after a few days, like you said. Uh, well, I did think the joke was super funny. What the fuck does that have to do with the spooky mag- Your- your spooky magic? A good joke wants to be heard, you know. <laughs> Threads are already deleted, but you got the janitors called it on that one. Well, good one, Blunfield. I still think it's a fucked up Blunt joke to make. Fiend. Yeah. Blunt fiend. Oh, Blunt Fiend. Oh. I've been calling him Blunfield the entire time. He was Blunt Fiend. Yeah, I, I tried to correct you before. <laughs> you an idiot. I added an L when there's no L there. You're just mad because you're angry. Hashtag waste their time to K16. <laughs> Don't pretend like you did on purpose to get them to waste their time on stupid shit. Did I, friend? Did I? You didn't. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't. It's still pretty funny, though. Fucking classic. Hey guys, what's going on in this thread? I'm not about to be about to back read. Uh, Blunt feeds Stephen King troll on Gay Cop and before went wild, and we think the Janners are on it now. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> and that's it of the anomaly. Okay, there is some danger where it affects media, but it doesn't affect people. I think it goes in what the fuck because it's weird, but it doesn't feel goofy, and it is kind of hilarious. Yeah, and there is a bit of danger, like, affecting certain media. Yeah. So it's not, like, reassigned. Like, it does have a, a dangerous thing. Yeah, it can destroy your shit, basically. Yeah. Like, just imagine this. You have this ancient, uh, this ancient little thing where it might be the only copy of the song in the world 
you're trying to play it, and it starts talking about Stephen King. <laughs> like, did you know that Stephen I'm King was once hit by a car? Like that exists. Yeah. So, uh, imagine it infecting possibly the only surviving recording of a certain song. 